Hello! Today we are going to be multiplying and dividing positive and negative integers. Now a very simple rule for multiplying and dividing integers is if both of the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. So let's take a look. Here we have 6 times 3 and negative 4 times negative 12. Now I know in both cases the signs are the same. It's a positive 6 and a positive 3 and a negative 4 and a negative 12. When both signs are the same, my answer is going to be positive. So 6 times 3, 18. Negative 4 times negative 12, 48. Because it was both negative 4 and negative 12, my answer is positive 48. How about division? Here we have negative, or we have 12, regular positive 12, divided by 4. That answer is 3. When we have negative 9 divided by negative 3, the answer is a positive 3, because the signs are the same. We have a negative and a negative, just like here we have a positive and a positive. Let's go to multiplying and dividing with different signs. Right here we have 5 times negative 6. Well, I know 5 times 6 is 30. And since I see that we have different signs, the 5 is positive and the 6 is negative, my answer is going to be negative 30. For negative 9 times 3, I know that 9 times 3 is 27. And the negative sign makes it negative 27, because it's negative 9 and positive 3, so the signs are different. For division, I do the same thing. I got negative 20 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5 is... 4. Because the, negative, the 20 is negative and the 5 is positive, my answer is going to be negative, so it's going to be negative 4. For 35 divided by negative 7, I know 35 divided by 7 is 5, and because they have different signs, the 35 is positive and the 7 is negative, my answer is going to be negative, so my answer is negative 5. That is a quick and simple way of multiplying and dividing positive and negative integers.